Do you want to start or should I? You can start. Welcome to the Power Trip After Party Podcast. No, hang on. Let Max start. Welcome to the Power Trip. Well, I already no, started. No, let me start. <laughs> Welcome to the Power Trip After Party Podcast. Is that what it's called, Zach? Yeah, that's what it is. These are the worst fucking blinds. Like, they don't shade anything. It's Aren't we bright. getting new ones? I heard I we're getting we new are, ones. I think we are, and I can't wait because they literally, like, I get that the sun's shining in, but it's still kind of bright. <laughs> yeah, we don't have really the is. lights on because we don't need it, and the blinds are down. <laughs> Stupid. Yeah, man, you really get mad about blinds. I want blackout curtains in here. Not Whoa. this month. Come on, Zach. Oh, man. Do you guys listen to Smartless? Do you guys listen to the Smartless podcast? No. It's fantastic. I've listened to an episode here or there. It's, it's, it's fantastic. Really fan- it's really fascinating. It's fantastic. And so they do two things that it's like, it's so hard not to steal, but I like two, th- I actually, I like three things that they do. I shouldn't say two, it's three. They open the show with somewhat of a setup or staged or written bit, mm-hmm. right? For the first 30, 40, 50 seconds. Then their cool little theme song starts. Then they do the bit where it's a guess that the other two people don't know who it is. So it's kind of fun to have to listen to those two people guess. Even though you can see on the podcast that you know who's coming. But yeah. it's, it's fun to see the two people that don't know who the guest is try to guess who the, the guest is. And then they always do that thing at the end of the episode where they try to use the word buy, but in like a new, funny, punny way. Mm-hmm. And every time I listen to Smartless, I go, we don't do any of that shit. <laughs> we don't we just crack, on, we crack the mics out and go, who wants to start? And then we <laughs> complain about the blinds. I think the six-second theme song or liner already played, right? Because it's recorded in afterwards, right, Zach? Like the uh, I don't know if after we do party that anymore. podcast. I don't think <laughs> I was we do say, that Do we even have we an just, intro? Do we not have even an opener? No. How do we not I mean, have a theme can. song? So wait, do you, are you telling me? Because, again, I don't listen to our own podcast. You're telling me the people that are listening to this right now heard us come in dry and just start going, should I start or you? That sounds more like sauce. I, mean, I can and you, but... cut that out if you want me to. but I'm No, I want to leave that in. I'm just saying I thought that yeah, followed just... like a six-second like pew, 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 the power, power trip. trip after party podcast. Yeah, we used to years ago. What? Yeah. No. So we All right, so now we officially <laughs> don't have a theme song, so we come in dry. Yeah. We don't have a cool staged funny bit. Because this ain't funny. <laughs> so we're over for two. And we don't have a closing bit where we all have some kind of word game. We don't do anything. And we kind of just mail it in. Man, no wonder it's not sponsored. Which, by the way, you can sponsor this podcast by reaching out to either me, Chris, Sauce. If you'd like to be a part of the After Party Podcast, email us. Maybe we'll make it happen. What's your email, Cor? I don't even know. I think it's just CoreyCove at iHeartMedia.com. Or no ha- E in Corey, even though half, half the sales staff <laughs> doesn't know that. I've worked here for 20 years. <laughs> Why is that a thing? I don't know. They it's just extra they, effort. I would call you, even if you had any, I would just say C-O-R-Y so I wouldn't have to put the extra third finger in. But how about just, I don't know, it takes Never two seconds to look. And I've worked here 20 years. Right. Uh, I don't I don't get it. And then, you know, I get Z-A-C-K every once in a while. Um, even when my, you know, again, it says in your email, but I get it, whatever. But the E Y thing that would buy, that's a whole nother letter. It's a whole, that's a, that's a whole different name. Do you guys know how to spell Barrero's last name? B-A-R-R-E-I-R-O. Do the second half of that again slower. So people can hear it. E-I-R-O. E-I-R-O. Yep. Would you have known that? Yeah. No, I only know it from doing the little liner things in the log. Okay, but here's, right, here's my point, right? Yeah. Here's my point. My guess is there was a time both of you were like, Fuck, how do, you, how do you spell his yes. last name? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. So guess what you guys did? We learned. We Googled you it. You looked it up. <laughs> you looked it up. We copied and pasted. Right. Until I, it just became muscle right. memory. And, and it's, the weird thing about it is is what you just said, Zach. It's not like, fuck, don't they know who I am? That's not what it is. No. What, no. what bothers me is, wow, that was a three-second thing that they weren't willing to do. Right. They weren't willing to, to work for three seconds to Google C O like Corey Cove KFN. You would have immediately seen it's spelled differently. Three seconds of extra work saves you a misspelling. I get. It. I'm not talking about you. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Paul. Right. Hey. Paul, do you like the theme song to our podcast? What obviously just played about five minutes ago. Theme song to our podcast. Yeah, like when people listen to the podcast, they hear the opening theme or whatever. Do you like it or not? Should we change it or not? Oh, of the show. Of this show's podcast, oh, this, yeah. yeah. The podcast. No, 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 not, no, 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 not the actual 530 to 9. No, the after, after party, party podcast opening theme song. Do you like, like it? it or not? The I've rap, never heard it. The auto-tune. You don't listen to it? No. You don't listen to the podcast ever? 
No. How many times have you heard the After Party podcast? Zero. Zero. Yeah. Zero times. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. All right. Well, I guess we can't get your thoughts on it. So, what Max, you you're voting keep it or remove it? I mean, I think we should take the auto tune off of T Pain's vocals. Oh, T Pain. Yeah. Zacho? I mean, I like the auto tune. So, oh, man. Well, let's hear it. Well, I mean, play it if it's such a thing. All right, let's play well, it. We already played it. The well, people sorry, already I heard was, it. Okay, I know no one Were cares you dumping? About this. I'm not <laughs> kidding you when I say this, and I'm the king of over exaggerating. I. At seven o'clock, I told both of you, and I told Corey. I heard this. I, I'm not kidding. I was in my head thinking about how I'm going to get to the kitchen to shit because I'm not going to make it to the bathroom. He was convinced he was going to crap his pants. I was convinced I was going to shit myself. (laughs) Something, either the coffee. I eat the same thing every day. It's the same thing on my every. I eat the same. I've eaten the same thing every day for. Four months now, every morning, and I'm like, was as it, it was the seven ten segment, and I'm like, holy fuck! And it didn't help that we were all on camera, so everybody would have seen me just bolt out of the room. <laughs> would have been a great bit. Yeah, you course. shit your pants oh, running out of the I, room. Oh my god! I thought it, there was about a thirty second span where I thought I'm like, <laughs> I'm gonna shit my fucking pants in this studio. It's going to be gross. Would have been legendary. It would have been legendary, but it would have been the sound. No, all of it. <laughs> Just and they would have the they, duck waddle oh. out of the room trying to hold it in. No, and I'm like, no, like Martin from the gaming episode. Yes. Oh, yes. yes. <laughs> would have yes. Been the best. How quick can my wife get here to pick me up? That's I, rock bottom too, right? Yeah, oh yeah. Oh, she would have though. But all Can you it. pick me up at work? I crap my pants. I shit, but that, that would have been the the worst spill of the week for me. So I it 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 like it's that pain like in your lower stomach and your abdomen where you're like I'm gonna explosively shit. It it subsided, thank God. So I made it through the show and I'm like, all right, after the show I'll go into the bathroom. I just took a Randy Marsh. Style <laughs> dumb. Did you lose six pounds? Oh my god! I feel incredible. It looked like if you were to go buy ring baloney at a supermarket. What else did it look exactly it, like? It looked like the snake that was found in my mother-in-law's yard. What else did it look exactly like? It looked like I shit two forearms. It was. <laughs> the, I can't believe it went. I'm like fuck. I'm gonna be stuck in here. I can't believe it went down the toilet. It's the biggest dump I ever took. So sorry. I'm so wishing it ended up oh, in your pants. Oh, yeah. oh. That's not like, oh, I, I, I think I creamed myself. Oh, right. That is, like, you I, can't what, deny it. Where do I, I put oh, this? I would have had, yeah, right. had a wet lunch bag in my, my fucking pants. That would have been truly, how do I oh. pick this up and take it into the, oh, oh my God. I would have, I would have. Oh. I would have crapped my pants laughing oh. so hard that you crapped your pants. I, was, I would have had a heart attack crying. I would have I laughed so hard. I was sweating. I'm like, I'm going to have oh. to just casually walk out of here. I have to go so bad. But I, it got to the end of the show, so here we are. Well, thank, but, so I missed your fake song bit. Thank you for carrying uh, the uh, the Hawk torch for the, the 9 o'clock shit. And uh, also, he does do the 7. You know this, too. Yeah. He does the seven o'clock like oh fuck I think yeah I made it. like how many times has he asked you like totally like hey man I might need you to take over the board for a second <laughs> yeah no it happens because he does that all the time semi regularly so you got the shits yes. I got the horniness <laughs> that talk left behind yeah. Max I don't know what yeah, you got it, um you got I got why, why do professional golfers not have accidents more often it's a good question right some of them are on the course for like five hours right how do you yeah. not once in a while, like marathon runners have to stop in yeah. the middle of a marathon or once in a while. Them, or shit themselves. Right, and just keep running, That's which is a, just a horrific thought. Can you run to the bathroom? Thought. What? Like, if, can you run to the bathroom in a golf? I mean, they're not going to stop you, right? No, but think of how, how infrequently, Max, you're a big NBA guy. Think of mm-hmm. how infrequently you see somebody just sprint down the tunnel, and there's always that weird moment by the broadcasters going, oh, is something wrong? Oh, because they realize, oh, he's not. He doesn't have a right. busted shoulder. He's got a shit, yeah. or he's got a pierce. He's like he's. It's a bathroom nervous. emergency. Yeah, they're nervous. Super rare. And but, everybody, the, the whole thing was kind of like the curtain was pulled back once the Paul Pierce thing happened. Now we all know what they're doing when yeah, they yeah. go back there. The wheelchair. <laughs> the whole that whole thing was such a. Big how, how great would it be though if if let's say I don't know Justin Thomas shits his pants <laughs> right on hole six. Zach would have loved it. And and. and, and <laughs> 
instead of the cart like in football, a golf cart just comes and picks him up because he's been standing clinching his asshole for, for like seven minutes. Oh. Going, that was me. Please call the cart. That and the cart me. picks him up, just speed racers him oh. back to the clubhouse. Well, Justin, Justin Thomas about to tee off on hole seven, wearing some nice new plaid pants. Oh, God. <laughs> I'd love to hear Dottie's report on that. <laughs> All right, so you didn't shit your pants. No, I didn't. That would have been epic. And you're voting. You're you're abstaining from the vote on the theme song because you've never heard it. Okay. Well, take a listen to it and let us know on uh, Tuesday. Play it. Uh, again, um, we're not going to play the whole thing again. It's too long. It it's says like the faci- at least for the Masters, it says the facilities for players on the course are designed to remain unseen. Yeah. Well, yeah, mm. the Masters are, probably don't want. I... Uh, the Masters, too, like, they spray paint everything green, so it looks, uh, according to people who have, who have gotten the very lucky chance to go play it, when it's not, like, March, anytime before the Masters, anytime after, it's it's a pretty beat-up golf course. Is it? Yeah. That sounds insane to me, but yeah. I've heard that, too. Yeah, that it's pretty beat-up, not, I mean, it's as well-maintained as it possibly can. But it's fucking But it doesn't look Georgia. like that. Yeah. It's Uh-oh. Augusta, Georgia. Like, you got a, a lot of nerve. What a weird place to. Is it over? Yeah. For who? Oh All of you. What happened? Me? Did we get... Let me ask you I was in the paper. Tell, tell Chad oh. that you almost crapped your pants Chad, for two hours. I'm but not like kidding a you. warrior, <laughs> you held off. Yeah, Chad, check this out. You don't think I, I'm, I'm a I'm a He's team a team player? player. About two and a half hours ago, I was convinced I was going to splatter shit my pants <laughs> on the In the air. studio. Maybe in the again. Oh, oh screen, screen door. door through wire. Yeah. Yeah, Montezuma's Revenge. Apple, the Apple. <laughs> Splatters. Quick step. <laughs> We're, Tennessee but I, trots. But I, the Tennessee trots. I mean, I literally would have shit through a screen door and never touched it. God, you're a warrior. But I made it. But then I just took maybe the world's biggest shit. It was a disaster. Is that like a prerequisite before you guys can start this podcast? Well, that's hockey. Uh, normally I when Hawks are here. Today. So Hawks today. So here's my question. I heard you guys talking about go, uh, grocery carts. Yeah. It drives me nuts, right? Like, put, it back. put it back. Right. Put it back. Like when you bring a bunch of chairs into a studio, for example. Oh. Right? So similar to that kinda? <sighs> Way he to go, Zach. Up. Yeah, he set us up. Or like what about like what about uh like coffee cups? Like we, I got a water, I got a half drink and I leave it at a I'm gonna use a... the same analogy I used for Corey. You waited for your pitch and you hit it out of the park. <laughs> you let us all you that's set all us I, up. That that's was all I got. I'll you look, check raised us I'll, badly. I'll see you guys in the meeting. Oh what time? What meeting? Okay, I gotcha. <laughs> We gotta go to a like meeting a- today. Oh, son of a bitch! Congrats to Abby, by the way. Huh? That's yeah, oh, sales yeah. gal Abby had a uh, baby. The listeners are oh, like, who? Hey. Um, but How about the, the no, Delvin Cook? Kid. You guys talk about that. Congrats to the Delvin Cook. The pretend by the rap way. song. Pretend rap song. Rap song. Rap song. Um. Yeah. What What are we gonna do with that? Do with what? Delvin Cook. Well, uh, how about I was not gonna be released till tomorrow? So they're gonna try as like hell to trade him. Oh, that's too bad. Miami will give him like a six-round pick or something. You think they'll do that? No, because then I don't they take on the contract. So we're just gonna let him go. Yep. Who cares? Who cares? I mean, no offense, Delvin's awesome, but no, but they're we're all moving on. Yeah, and they're in a like they if if they trade Daniel, then they're they're admitting that they're in like a kind of more serious. Situation. Yeah, yeah, and they will. They'll trade. If you get a first-round pick for him, you got to trade. You have to. Sauce, when you take a world record dump, like it sounds like you just did 15 minutes ago, yeah, man. do you have the urge to not eat for 24 hours or eat everything for 24 hours? A, you know what? Good, good. A lot of people say I'm like Howard Stern-esque. Did you see my guy yesterday? Of course. He was fantastic, He's by fantastic. the way, too. I didn't know. Yeah. So He's Dave fantastic. Matthews was on Stern yesterday. Oh, sweet. And I didn't know a lot of that shit about his childhood, yeah. about his sister getting murdered. Yeah. Um, yeah. His dad dying when he was ten. Like I didn't know Dave's life with his was as um tragic and as dark his as it is. Yeah. yeah. Oh my so God. his sister got killed by her husband and then his the husband took himself out too. Yeah. So then Holy the kids, he had a couple the couple of kids. Yeah. So Dave and his sister, but he gave credit to his sister for doing most of it, but they raised the kids now. Yeah. Wow. And that was when they were much younger. So I think they're like this adult is, adult the, uh now but. this is hardcore dave matthews band fandom but the album under the table and dreaming 
if you when you take the CD out, there's a picture of Dave holding a little boy, and that's his sister's kid. Kid. Mm. But yeah, it's, his song "Minarets" is about it. Yeah, he they the whoever found the, she he came behind her, I guess. And slit her throat while Jeez. she was watching TV. My God. And they found oh. the TV was still on. He's got a whole song about it. Yeah. He's it, incredible, dude. He's a really good interview. And, yeah. and uh, Howard loves him. And he's very aware of his image. And I think he he, he knows where he is. I, I don't think he's – he doesn't seem like an egomaniac or anything like that. He seems like a good dude. I did like his joke about – because Stern was mentioning how many songs Dave has written about death. And, again, I don't know his catalog yeah, well enough to know that. Of them, yeah. And he was joking that was it was it Carter or one of his guitar techs or somebody said had some joke that um, the set list for the night was like death, 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 love, and death. Like that yeah. was the set. Yeah, because he mixes in some love yeah. songs, but most of his songs are about dying. Well, and it's weird too because he admitted on the interview that their new song off their new record, "Walk Around the Moon," is about him being on mushrooms, and now like now he was like. Dave Howard, because he's so good, was like, where do you stand on drugs? Like, it was just the perfect question, because he knew it's it's Howard. He knew Dave would give him a straight answer, and he's like, I don't really stand. Like, he's like, I don't do them that much, but he was like, in the pandemic, fuck it. What a better time to do mushrooms. So I liked his so, answer is what I think a lot of people should answer about things like weed. Is he, when um, Howard said, do you do mushrooms? He goes, well, yeah, because they work. And then he kind of, he caught himself and he yeah. goes, well, hang on. He goes, they work for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Almost like, he I do. don't. yeah. But that's, all, that's the whole point. Like, if mushrooms, if you think mushrooms are awful or if you think they're evil, who gives a shit? Because if it works for other people, if it makes somebody else's life a little easier, then don't worry so much about it. So Dave wasn't saying, everybody should do mushrooms. They're mm-hmm. awesome. He was just saying, they work for me. I do yeah. them once in a while, not the end of the world. Yep. Let's move on. And, he, yeah. and that's the right answer is d- don't worry about it, right? He, like, for example, when, when, drug. when weed is I, – I, again, I, 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 try, I tried weed a handful of times when I was 22 or 3, and it just didn't do much for me. When it's legal here, I don't think I'm going to do it much, if, uh, if ever. But I have zero problem if other people do it for fun or for medicinal reasons. Correct. What do I care? God. For yeah, anxiety? Correct. It doesn't affect me in any way, I don't get, shape, or form. I, I don't understand why everybody gets so uppity about it. I don't get people. And I whatever. We'll probably alienate a few people. I don't understand people who alienate people who smoke weed but have no problem if you drink. It's a weird, right. like. It's the same thing. It's, a, it's the same thing. It's a weird ladder or weird, like, hill to die on. Like, it's not the same. You thing. smoke weed, yeah. It's, uh, uh, it's far so dangerous. you yeah. drink. Like, yeah, you could yeah. argue that, right? Correct. Yeah, but I, I just, I don't get the people that are like super anti marijuana. Well, there's a lot of things that like I'm not, I don't care for, but I'm not going to do it. I don't give a shit. I, you do whatever you want. I don't care. So many people just have the like residual reefer madness, old Stupid, ass yeah. opinions yeah. about weed, thinking that it's a gateway. Drug. I'm like, at that point, what? I drink fucking milk. That's a gateway drink to me drinking alcohol. You know, right. like right. It, it's it's a stupid argument. And there's tons of research that shows that it's not as harmful as, as people thought. And yeah, it's not. It is not for everybody. I've definitely smoked with some people that I'm like, oh my god, you should put the joint yes. down. Oh yeah, immediately. Yeah, yeah. And same thing with mushrooms and stuff. But yeah, certain yeah. things work for certain people. I've never done much. The, oh, the, mushrooms are fun. Now that my guy they're, they're doesn't fun. go, I'll probably. Yeah, they're good. Yeah, no, they're fun. The, it's, it's a lot more tame than acid. The the best thing I can say to those people who are, you know, still, you know, they just they need to open their mind up and just get just basically break it down logically because they've got that like this deep seated like I don't know it's like anxiety slash fear of weed and you can feel it whenever you talk to those people. And, 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 and again, we're not saying that you should go out and do it. We're not saying your family should go out and do it. Just all we're saying is uh, be try to be a little bit more consistent on it because uh, you, you have no problem going out to a bar on a Friday night. Yeah. You have no problem with, you know, uh, you know going out on the boat and, 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 you know, ripping shots and doing all that stuff. Um, but when it comes, you know, it's, it's, it's the, the most hypocritical thing. And like I've always said, too, is if you're, if you're for – prohibition of marijuana give me one reason why you're for the prohibition of that but not here. alcohol <laughs> you're right and at the very least look up just look up videos of people that it actually that actually use it medicinally i mean right. it's like life change night and day yeah, no, sometimes there's i watched this documentary and this guy um he was like shaking he couldn't Parkinson's. speak yeah he had like yeah. parkinson he could not speak 
And then he smoked weed, and then they show him. He's like, "Hello, my name is John." You yeah, know, he yeah, was totally yeah, yeah. like, it, it yeah. can work like magic for some people. And, and, and Joe Biden and and the federal government need to get their fucking shit together. I'm I'm tired of this because you and I get passionate about this because you mentioned that the the the, the veterans that are dealing with PTSD that you know want don't want to be dishonorably discharged because of this shit that you know. Still want to have the right to to you know own a a, a gun and not get, have you know have that you know be a felony because they want to have you know something to go hunt with or whatever and then also use weed like it's it the the you know the ATF just I don't know if you saw that the other day the ATF in St Paul tweeted mm-hmm. like last week like despite new laws remember it's still illegal to um you know to Shut up, it's like, like get, over it. get the fuck out of here like right. get over that's the ridiculous. fact that it's still a schedule one is it like yeah come on. it's like on the same level as heroin yeah. and yeah. stuff like that it's yeah. bullshit it no and it needs to change on a federal level i'm tired of going from state by state what? so you'd like to see a lot more out of the administration of joe biden yeah, see, that was good. See, that was that was good. That was the smartless bit that we referenced about Bye. twenty minutes ago. Sorry, I was taking a big shit. You have to work the word "by" into the outro, and he said Biden. So I'm like, I'll just use that one. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So life is not super black and white, though. We can talk about drugs. Some people think it's evil. Some people think it's good. But life's not that binary. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>